think it's important to understand the key concepts and points in freestyle before we break it down into the drill segments. The first key point I'd like to talk about in freestyle is the high elbow catch. In both sprinters and distance swimmers alike, each has a tendency to enter with an early vertical forearm elbow out in front. Okay? The emphasis here is to try to get the elbow as far out in front of the head by hollowing out the armpit. A swimmer like Cesar Cielo or even a swimmer like Sun Yang that swim completely different events, both have high elbow catch. In Caesar's case, his elbow is a little bit deeper than Sun Yang's, who initiates the catch up top. The next point I'd like to talk about is getting your thumb in towards your belly button. Now this is rarely discussed in swimming circles, but it's often seen with elite swimmers from an underwater camera angle, particularly during the Olympic ga games and high profile meets. A swimmer like Nathan Adrian in particular draws his hand, across his belly, and you can see on video that his thumb comes in towards his belly as he accelerates his hand through the pull. He's keeping his fingertips down the entire way, but he's trying to initiate that high elbow catch, keeping his fingers down, and then as he draws in towards his navel, he pushes out towards the back in kind of a salute fashion. One of the differences I like to talk about between distance swimmers and sprinters is that catch. For a distance swimmer, they tend to have a planing effect as they enter in order to set up the high elbow catch. So there's not an immediate catch like a sprinter would do in the case of, say, Nathan Adrian or Cesar Cielo. Okay, in the distance swimmer, they tend to have their hand enter closer to their head and plane out and sway a little bit with their hand as opposed to uh, a sprinter who's really trying to dig in with a, a claw or meat hook type effect. One of the drills you're going to see in this segment focuses on rhythm and the timing of the breath in relation to the freestyle pull. A couple of the things that I look for with regards to breathing and freestyle is seeing the athlete create an air pocket, so to speak. So I want the head typically flat in line with the spine, and when they breathe to the side, I want to see the back of the head kind of lay into the bicep. Okay? I want to see them create a quick air pocket and get their head back down before their hand comes back down over the top. Another thing we look for in proper freestyle technique is a long high neck and kind of extending the spine. You want to think of yourself as having almost a hook or a loop on the top of your head and being pulled towards the opposite side of the pool. Okay? A flat back is also essential on freestyle as you're basically pushing the belly in towards your spine and creating almost a pelvic tilt watching the athlete hydroplane across the water. You'll see typically with distance swimmers a little bit more body roll, where with sprinters you'll see more of a flat hip position. Flutter kick is important in freestyle because it helps keep the athlete's hips high and keeps the athlete moving in a forward direction.